A stretched cluster provides your workloads with better resiliency by spanning two different AWS availability zones within a single region. Here I have a SDDC being deployed with a standard cluster, which gets deployed in only one availability zone. You cannot have a mix of standard and stretched clusters in one SDDC. So let's create a new SDDC to deploy a stretched cluster. Select the AWS region where you'd like to deploy the SDDC. Select stretched cluster and give a name. You must have at least four hosts to deploy a stretched cluster. You connect the SDDC with an AWS account. Then you must choose an AWS VPC and two subnets, each in a different availability zone. Each availability zone will equate to one fault domain. You configure the management subnet as usual. Then click Deploy SDDC to start the deployment. It will take a couple of hours for the SDDC deployment to finish. Fast forward, here we have the SDDC deployed. Let's go to the vSphere client and take a deeper look at how the EXXI hosts in a stretched cluster have been deployed. The first host is deployed in US West 2B the next one is in the same fault domain, US West 2B. The third host is in US West 2A, a different fault domain. And you can also tell by the IP address. Each fault domain has its own subnet. The hosts in US West 2B are using 10.2.32.x subnet, while the hosts in US West 2A are using 10.2.40.x subnet. Now the vCenter is in US West 2B. I also deployed some Linux machines, both in the same availability zone as the vCenter in US West 2B. To simulate an availability zone, or a fault domain failure, our site reliability engineer is going to reboot the two hosts in US West 2B in the background. Let's fast forward a couple of minutes. You can see now that we have lost our connection to the vCenter since the vCenter was in US West 2B. However, because we have a stretched cluster, the vCenter will be restarted on the other availability zone. So in some minutes, we should be able to connect to the vCenter again. Let's fast forward about five minutes and refresh the browser. As you can see, the vCenter is available again. Let's log in and see what's going on. You can see that the two hosts that have been rebooted by our engineer are showing as not responding. But our vCenter, as you can see, is now in US West 2A. The two Linux machines have also been restarted in US West 2A. The NSX appliances, which are usually spread across the different fault domains, are all in US West 2A as well. Once the hosts in the failed availability zone are restored, the cluster will rebalance itself across the two fault domains. 
Let's fast forward to when the hosts are available again. Both hosts are now back up and running. You can see here that one of the NSX edges and an NSX manager are being migrated to the other fault domain. As you have just seen, this is how a stretched cluster can provide better resiliency for your workloads in a VMware cloud on AWS SDDC.